good day, my dear friend. Welcome to Keys That Open the Day Online Devotionals. I am Dario Lushola. By the grace of God today, we want to share together what I call the power of persistent prayer. The power of persistent prayer. And we are taking our test from Zechariah chapter 10, verse 1. Zechariah chapter 10, verse 1. See what the Bible says. Ask ye of the Lord rain in the time of latter rain. So the Lord shall make bright clouds and give them showers of rain to every one grass in the feed. You all know that for grass to produce harvest, there is need for rain. And for rain to come, the Bible says you need to pray. Say, ask ye of the Lord rain. When are you going to ask God rain? The Bible says, ask him in the time of the latter rain. Remember the Bible says, there is time for everything under heaven. So there is time to pray the right kind of prayer and you need to be persistent in your praying. For example, in 1 Kings chapter 18, looking at verse 1, the Bible says, And it came to pass after many days that the word of the Lord came to Elijah in the third year, saying, Go show thyself unto Ahab, and I will send rain upon the earth. For about three years, there had been no rain in the land. People were suffering. And God now spoke to his servant. He said, Go and tell the king that I am going to send rain. So the mind of God was to send rain to the land. And when you move to verse 41 downward, see what the Bible says. And Elijah said unto Ahab, Get thee up, eat and drink, for there is a sound of abundance of rain. So when God told Elijah that he was going to send rain to the people, Elijah went to announce to the king that he started to hear the sound of abundance of rain. That sound he was hearing was not physical sound. But he was hearing it with the ear of a spirit man. Rain had not started falling. But because God promised to send rain, Elijah saw it coming. Whatever God promised to do in your life, you need to see it coming. Because if you don't see it coming and you go to pray, God will not do it. Because God will not do for you, Beyond the revelation you have seen in his word, God spoke to Elijah, I will send rain. Elijah said to the king, I began to hear the sound of abundance of rain. And look at verse 42 now. So he have went up to eat and to drink, and Elijah went up to the top of Carmel, and he cast himself down upon the earth and put his face between his knees. Now, after Elijah has spoken to the king, he went to the mountain top. There, he began to pray. Now my question is this. Why did Elijah need to pray after God had initiated that he would send rain? Was rain not God's initiative? Shouldn't God have sent it without Elijah having to pray? But God will do nothing until men Ask him to do it. That's why in that Zechariah chapter 10, he said, Ask ye of the Lord for rain in the time of the latter rain. It is the time of rain. But you need to ask God for that rain. So God announced to Elijah, It is the time for me to send rain to the land. But Elijah had to go to Mount Carmel, dear he put his head in between his two legs and he began to pray. And why pray? In verse 43, he said, And said to his servant, Go up now, look toward the sea. And he went up and looked and said, There is nothing. Can you see why Elijah was praying? He told his servant to go and look for sign of answer prayers. But when that one returned, he said, No sign. I don't know the number of times you have prayed also and you wash out for answer to your prayers. 
you see no sign that God has answered your prayer. That doesn't mean that God had not answered your prayer. God still wants you to persist in pray. See it again. Elijah now told the servant, he said, go again seven times. So Elijah continued to pray. He persisted in praying. He prayed and prayed and prayed and never gave up until the answer came. Now look at it in verse 44. And it came to pass at the seventh time that he said, Behold, there ariseth a little cloud out of the sea like a man's hand. And he said, Go up, see to Ahab, prepare thy chariot and get thee down, that the rain stop thee not. So God spoke to Elijah, I will send rain. Elijah announced to the king, God will send rain, and he went to pray, and he persisted in praying. The first time he prayed, there was no sign. Second time, no sign. Third time, no sign. Fourth time, no sign. Fifth time, no sign. Sixth time, there was no sign that God was going to do it, but he knew that God, who has spoken, will stand by his word, and he persisted. And at the seventh time, what he saw was too little compared with what he had. He said, I had the sand of abundance of rain. But when the Sabbath came, he said, I saw a small cloud just like the size of a man's hand. But when you get to verse 45, and it came to pass in the meanwhile that the heavens were black with clouds and wind, and there was a great rain, and Ahab rode and went to Jezreel. Can you see? Because Elijah persisted, then the answer came. Assuming Elijah stopped after praying for the second time or he stopped after praying for the sixth time, then he wouldn't have gotten the answer and he would have said, God didn't answer his prayer. I don't know the number of people today that have given up along the line. Remember, before Elisha died, he told the king of Samaria, he, he told them, he said, take your bow and put an arrow there in and shoot toward the east. And the king shot the first time, second time, and the third time, and he stopped. And Elisha said, why did you stop? You ought to have shooting four, five or six times. Then you could have conquered Syria forever. He said, but you will only win them three times. After that, they will come back. My dear listener, you need to persist. Don't give up. God is a God that answers prayers. I tell people, I said, I don't know a God who don't answer prayer because there is no single prayer I've ever prayed that God never answered. He's a God who hears and answers. And nothing now is the air in you. But he wants you to persist. Persistent will show the level of your faith and commitment to what you are expecting God to do. Don't pray one time and give up. Pray without ceasing. Pray until your joy is full. When you pray persistently and committedly and with faith in your heart, then miracles will come. Testimony will come. Then you'll be enjoying answer to your prayers. I pray the Almighty God will open your eyes of understanding to see what He's saying to you here. And the grace to live your life based on the stuff of this world that you may enjoy answer to all your prayers. May God grant to you in Jesus' name. Let me pray for you. Father, I pray for this, my friend. As you go out today, God's presence will go with you. The Lord will accompany you. The Lord will help you. He will bless you. All your prayer petitions shall be answered. You will not pray in vain again. The Lord will grant you resort, and your desires shall come. There shall be testimony. By the time you return home today, you will return with great success story. In the name of Jesus. Thank you, Father, for hearing us. For in Jesus' name I pray. Amen. My dear friend, my name is Dari Olushola. I'm the Assembly Pastor of Yahweh Chapel and the Mission Coordinator of Christ and Mystery Global Missions. I welcome your comment. I would love to pray with you. And I would love to counsel you. On whatever issue, you can call my line directly or you put a message on my WhatsApp page. My phone number is plus 23470. 6561-1913 Until we meet again on this same program tomorrow. 
continue to walk in the victory of the cross. In the name of Jesus. Amen. Amen.